We questioned yesterday why those guys weren't in the lineup when you're a lineup that's been struggling as much as the Yankees had been. Stanton came back off the IL, played one game, had yesterday off. They're both back in there today. So I think we're starting to see the, the lineup's going to be a little bit different. Aaron Boone is making some changes. But also the load management days maybe have to be put off for a little bit until the Yankees can get going. Guys like LeMayu, Stanton, Urshela's been good. Aaron Judge has been good. Glaber Torres needs to get better. There are a lot of names that need to get better. All right, so what is going on with Glaber right now? Because if you look at the numbers compared to that breakout season he had in 2018 and 2019, I mean, the home runs per at-bat, that jumps out at you. It was about a home run every 16 at-bats back then. Now it's every 59 at-bats on average. The slug is certainly down. And then what's with the exit feel? What do you make of that? Yeah, exit velocity tells us uh, a lot, right? The ball is just not jumping off of the bat of Glaber yeah. Torres right now. I mean, under 85 miles an hour. And you looked at the lowest exit velocity is Fletcher from Anaheim, who is a slap punch and Judy hitter. So uh, to have Glaber even in the same area code as that is definitely concerning. But how do you fix it? If you're a hitter, you can't just go up to the plate and say, well, I'm going to swing harder. I'm going to hit the ball harder. Or it doesn't work that way. It actually works the other way, where you're dragging the bat through the zone. I'm sure the lack of power is frustrating Glaber Torres right now, but it's probably a reboot in the cage mechanically to make sure that his lower half and his upper half, and more specifically his hands, are working with his legs. Once he gets everything together, it's going to be easy yeah. bat speed, and then the ball's going to start jumping again. I've always said this to people who don't care about exit velo. It doesn't mean anything. It might mean the difference for Glaber of a ground ball to second or a ground ball getting by the second baseman and that's huge for a guy it tells a story Bob yeah. I mean I'm not big on the analytics and the numbers but when you're talking about exit velocity off the bat you know you can watch from the dugout or watch from an analyst chair and say oh he's hitting the ball hard but when the numbers are drastic as drastically low as they are exit velo for Glaber it's puzzling because now he's thinking he's got to create power which means you're trying to pull the ball a little bit more and we don't know when Glaber's at his best he's driving the ball the other way and he's able to find the seats in right field at Yankee Stadium right now the ball's just not jumping off his bat so they're looking for different options maybe a little lineup shakeup today with Wade in center and Duhar at first to keep his bat in there but down at AAA a lot of people have been talking about Chris Gittins that he's been getting some traction he's hitting 268 but the power numbers are there four homers 10 runs batted in he's not on the 40 man so again that would be a roster shakeup as well to get him on well that, that's a big deal not on the 40 man roster but the biggest thing is he plays first base and if you look at the Yankees as a club offensively and where they have struggled it's been left field it's been center field and it's been at first base so if I was a Yankee first baseman and had my whole career being behind the plate I knew exactly what the catchers were doing in the minor leagues at triple A and if they were swinging the bat it would have gotten my attention that I need to get going here because there's a move that can be made if somebody is lighting it up at AAA and you have a need for some power for some RBIs you know the, the organization at some point has to say we got to do something whether it's a trade or promoting somebody from the minor leagues today and Duhar gets a shot at first base I love that move I love Tyler Wade being in the lineup for the fact that he gives the Yankees some speed and I know I mentioned this the, today's game isn't about hit and run and all of the things that it used to be back in the day but Tyler Wade just by getting on base is going to create create some energy create some excitement and we heard Aaron Boone talk about it yesterday when you don't score runs you look like a flat ball club Tyler Wade playing center field is interesting as well we had talked about Clint Frazier might get some reps in center field you have a, a backup utility player playing center field for the Yankees today.